New Orleans seems poised to move on to round two now, and they're doing it without DeMarcus Cousins. So, Robin, when you look at what the Pelicans have done with their current lineup, should they even consider signing Cousins this offseason? Absolutely not. I don't think so. And it's a shame the injury is going to play into that. Personally, I wouldn't want DeMarcus Cousins as a centerpiece of my team, but especially for the New Orleans Pelicans, because the absence of Cousins has allowed Anthony Davis to shift to what I believe is his natural position at center. It's allowed Drew Holiday to playmake on the offensive end. Defensively, they don't have anybody putting Cousins in the high pick and roll to try and exploit him that way. So I think the floor has opened up on offense. They're faster, they're less predictable, and overall, they're a better team without DeMarcus his cousins with the addition of Miritich. All right, so I, I disagree with you here. I, I think they should re-sign Cousins, and because of the opportunity in front of them, they have a chance to sign a high talent at a low cost because of this Achilles injury. It's going to take him time to work his way back so they can get him on a short contract, cheap money, maybe one or two years. You know, when Cousins got hurt in February, him and – uh, Davis were just learning how to really gel together. And let's face it, this was a different team. Drew Holiday and Rajon Rondo were not producing like they are right now. If you could get that production with Davis and Cousins together, look out. They could be a force in the West. I don't West. think you can. I, I don't think you can because I don't think the lanes are there, and, and I think the ball is taken out of Holiday's hands because he's feeding uh, DeMarcus in the post. Now, to your point, that's fair if he's going to come at a steep discount and maybe even you work him in as Davis's backup. But when I'm thinking of DeMarcus Cousins as a guy who's demanding a max contract, I'd say no.